So we now specifically look at the degenerate Fermi gas and that is an ideal Fermi gas at the temperature T is equal to 0. Now the average occupation number Nk is given by 1 over z inverse e to the power beta epsa k minus 1, right? The average occupation number is given by nk is equal to 1 over e to the power beta epsa k minus mu plus 1. So now we have to figure this out at t equal to 0 but one has to be careful with this because you see that if epsa k is less than mu then this term I have epsa k minus mu is negative. So that this term is actually 1 over e to the power beta epsa k minus mu, <coughs> right? And in the limit of t to 0 or exactly at t equal to 0, beta is infinity so that this term vanishes. And therefore, you have average occupation number is equal to 1 for all energy levels epsa k which are less than equal to mu. So similar argument when epsa k is greater than mu then you see that this term is positive and the denominator itself van it becomes infinitely large and therefore you get a zero. So if you want to plot the occupation number as a function of the energy level then you will see that all the levels up to this chemical potential mu are completely filled at t equal to 0, right? And this completely filled levels define my Fermi C. So this defines my Fermi C. All energy levels up to epsa k is equal to mu are completely filled at t equal to 0 and therefore at t equal to 0 the Fermi energy equals to the chemical potential of the system. Now since I am looking at an ideal gas where I have h square epsa k is equal to h square k square over twice m, I can define a Fermi wave vector. Now to define the Fermi wave vector I note that total number of particles is sum over k average of n k right and the sum over k I know is g v over twice pi whole cube times 4 pi times k square d k right and this goes from 0 to infinity and then I have n k right but n k so the idea is to de determine, define a Fermi vector Kf corresponding to this Fermi energy epsilon f and therefore Nk is 1 only up to this Fermi vector Kf. So one has Gv as 2 pi, uh, this is going to be 2 pi square 0 to Kf k square dk because beyond that beyond this value of kf the average occupation number is zero so this quantity becomes gv over 2 pi square kf cube over 3 you immediately see that this implies that kf cube is going to be 6 pi square over g times n over v which is 6 pi square the number density n divided by the g so that kf is 6 pi square n over g raised to the power one third. So this defines my Fermi wave vector. And the Fermi energy, which is epsa f, 
is h square kf square over twice m is given by h square twice m 6 pi square n over g raised to the power 2 third and this is the chemical potential at zero temperature. So let's look at the thermodynamic pressure. The thermodynamic pressure we have been looking at this expression so many times. This was g over 2 pi whole cube or rather if I just take care of things it's going to be eta is plus 1. So this is going to be g over 2 pi square integral k square dk ln 1 plus z e to the power minus beta epsilon. Now this I can manipulate and write down as integral. So let's say this is 0 to infinity. This is going to be dk. Choose this as the first function. Then you have ln. There is no dk over here in the first term. When you integrate by parts, it's going to be ln 1 plus z e to the power minus beta epsa. Of course, it's a function of k. So we can still keep that over here k cube by 3 0 to infinity <coughs> minus this is going to be integration 0 to infinity dk I'll have k cube by 3 and then uh, derivative of this log with respect to k so that takes me 1 plus z e to the power minus beta epsa k and then I have z e to the power minus beta epsa k times minus of beta del epsa k del k. Well, it's a d epsa k dk. d epsa k dk, right? this term is going to vanish so that you will be left out with g over 2 pi square the minus and minus is going to give you a plus the beta comes out and you are left out with 0 to infinity dk 1 by 3 k cube and this is z 1 by so this is going to be k d epsa k dk times 1 by z inverse e to the power beta epsa k plus 1 and if you carefully look at this then this is nothing but the average expectation value x oh sorry uh, it's, it's nothing but the average occupation number so that you have g beta over 2 pi square 1 third 0 to infinity dk k cube d epsa k dk average of nk now <coughs> the average of the occupation number at zero temperature has the form theta of k minus k f where theta is a heavy side function so that this expression is g beta 2 pi square 1 third d epsa k dk is going to be h square over twice m times twice k so that I have h square over m integral 0 to kf dk k to the power 4 which is g beta over 2 pi square I am going to have h square over 15 m times kf to the power 5 <coughs> and now kf is 6 pi square n over g raised to the power 1 by 3 so that I have g beta over twice pi square 1 h bar square over 15 m and then I have 6 pi square n over g raised to the power 5 by 3. Now I also know that epsa f is going to be h square case f square over twice m which is going to be mu at zero temperature so i can equally write down twice m over h bar square half and mu to the power half 
So this expression I can also write down as g beta over twice pi square <coughs> h square over 15 m times twice m over h bar square raised to the power 5 by 2 and mu to the power 5 by 2. So you see the beta p has this expression. Now beta beta is going to cancel out from both side, right? What about the energy? Energy was sum over k, epsa k, n k, which I know as gv over 2 pi square, k square dk, h square k square over twice m. So, sorry, there is an average occupation over here and n k. <coughs> so, this is going to be gv over 2 pi square, h square over twice m and I am going to have kf to the power 5 over 5, right. And once again, this is going to be just gv in terms of the chemical potential, the energy is going to be twice pi square, h square over twice m and I am going to have twice m by h bar square raised to the power 5 by 2 mu to the power 5 by 2. And there is going to be a this factor is going to be 10 5 multiplied by 2 this factor is 15 and this factor is 10 and you immediately re realize that pressure is 2 by sorry pressure is 3 by 2 times e over v which is the usual case therefore a non-relativistic gas and which we derived very generally in our earlier classes <coughs>